What's going on growers, it's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. Today, I wanna to share with you a method for planting garlic that will ensure you bigger, better bulb production. Let's go. This method for planting garlic isn't just about technique, it's also about proper timing. I plant my garlic in the fall because most garlic needs to be overwintered in order to form new bulbs. And overwintering essentially just means that it needs to be exposed to temperatures near freezing for several weeks. If the garlic doesn't get proper cold exposure, then it won't grow new bulbs. You'll essentially be growing the garlic for the greens. Now you can get some production out of garlic if you plant it in the very early spring, once the ground can be worked, but when it comes down to it, that's much harder to do in my opinion. And also if you plant it in the spring, they typically won't get as large the bulbs as if you were to plant them in the fall. Because fall is the most ideal time to plant your garlic in most locations, that's also when most seed companies sell their garlic. If you try to find a seed company selling garlic in the spring, it could be tough sometimes because it's also tough to plant that garlic in the spring and still get good bulb production. The best time to plant your garlic depends on your particular location. If you live in an area like me that gets a hard frost, I like planting out my garlic a few weeks after the first fall expected frost date. So what we want to do is plant this garlic so that it can set its roots into the ground but doesn't grow any top foliage. What we don't want is what's going on with these garlic right here. I didn't plant these this year, they were just left in the ground, but the issue with this is these were in the ground so early that they shot up these fresh new growth. And what's gonna happen is when the hard frost comes, this growth's gonna get, die down. And then if it gets warm again, it'll shoot up new growth. So we don't want that process of new growth coming up and then dying down, new growth coming up, dying down, because that'll pull a lot of energy from the bulb. Because this early production right here, just co comes from a lot of the, uh, the energy and all the hormones and stuff that lie inside that bulb. So if we continue to allow it to grow and then die off, it's just gonna suck a lot of that energy out of it. That's why we wanna make sure we're planting our garlic so that only the roots grow. So it's before the ground freezes, but you don't wanna end up doing it too early like I've done a few times in the past by just planting it in like mid-October because my fall frost usually comes later than they even say in my first expected frost date. This year, I have an interesting idea. What I'm going to do is plant my garlic in the same section where I plant my tomatoes, where I have this tomato trellis built. And I space my tomatoes about a foot apart. So I'm going to stagger my garlic plantings between the tomatoes. This way I can get the production out of the garlic, but also use it as a companion to help deter some pests. Garlic likes growing in full sun, but it will tolerate partial shade. It also likes a good fertile soil with a lot of organic matter in it. So if you have a sandy soil, or a soil that you've used recently that you think may be drained or depleted of some nutrition. You could take some fresh compost, like I've got right here, some mushroom compost, and mix it into your soil, just like this. Or you could top dress after you plant. So let's get this section ready and get it planted. When it comes to planting garlic, the larger the clove, the bigger and healthier the bulb will be in the following summer, the ones that you planted. So if you have a choice to Choose which cloves to plant. Try to plant the ones that are the biggest and the healthiest. Right here I've got a soft neck variety of garlic, which I'll talk about a little later. So I'm gonna crack these open. And I wait till the day of to crack the cloves off the bulb because I don't want the uh, cloves completely drying out the roots. This will help me get earlier root production from them. So I'll separate all these cloves, one from another, and then choose the largest ones to plant into the ground the biggest and the healthiest ones, one like this. And if you're planting in rows, your spacing is about two to four inches apart. And then when we plant it into the ground, we wanna plant it about three inches deep. Like I mentioned in this section, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be planting the garlic cloves between my tomatoes. So I'm planting in a square foot guarding method. So I have my feet, my square feet all measured out. So there's gonna be a tomato here, a tomato here, and a tomato here. So staggered in between my tomatoes is where I'm going to put my garlic. So I'm just going to take my garlic, I'm gonna plant it three inches deep, and we're gonna plant it flat side down and the pointy side up, because this is the side the roots are gonna grow from. We're gonna stick it in like that and just cover it with the soil. Then after we'll come back and cover it up with some mulch. After we have all of our garlic planted, we wanna make sure we're labeling the variety that we planted this way, we can put it into our journal, and then in the future, we'll know which varieties did well, and then we could uh, see what ones do best in our particular location. So a lot of people ask me if you could use store-bought garlic 
and if you want you could try to plant store-bought garlic if it's organic but i wouldn't suggest doing it one of the great things about being a home gardener is that we can choose the varieties that are going to do best in our particular location so if we just use store-bought garlic we just have to kind of grow what they have instead i like ordering my garlic from good reputable companies and allowing that variety selection to just be something that's fun but also super beneficial in the garden after the garlic is planted and we have our labels down next we want to put a nice thick mulch on and what this is going to do is protect the garlic roots when they're forming during the frost or during the cold weather and you could use crushed leaves like I have here or you can use wood chips you'll notice some perlite mixed into here because I use this in a different section I just pulled the mulch off of it so we're gonna put a nice thick mulch down and then when the early spring comes and the first frost is all over or all the frosts are over, we'll remove some of this mulch. But this is just gonna act as a form of insulation to protect those roots as they're forming down deep below. Then, when the spring comes, it's a good idea to add in some fertilizer if you haven't already. Some organic fertilizer, like some compost I just did. Or you could top dress with some compost. Then, later in the season, um, I'd say about May or so, when the bulbs start forming, you could come by again, add another layer of top dressing or some organic fertilizer just to make sure you get the biggest, healthiest bulb production possible. When ordering your bulbs, you'll notice that there's two different kinds. You've got soft neck and hard neck varieties, and which kind is best for you will depend on your particular climate. I'm going to get into the two different kinds. I have one of each of the varieties right here. We've got the Inchellium Red. I think that's how you say it. That's the soft neck. And then we've got the garlic Moroccan Creole, which is a hard neck right here. Hard neck varieties of garlic are super winter hardy. So if you live in a very cold region, these might be the choice for you. They have a neck that grows through the center, which takes up some of the bulb production, which I'll show you right here. You can see this neck that grows through. And in the spring, they'll grow a long flowering stem called escape. When they grow this in the spring, you want to make sure you cut it out because if you do, if you remove this, it'll help increase your overall yields. So these hard neck varieties, they don't store as long or as well as your soft neck varieties do. Soft neck varieties of garlic are commonly the ones you find in stores. And they're soft necks, or they're called soft necks because they have a soft neck compared to the hard neck varieties. You can see the difference right there. And these ones tend to be easier to grow and they'll grow typically in warmer climates about zones five to 10. And when you do open them up, they don't have that, uh, that neck growing through the center of it. That's another way to, to determine that they're the soft neck ones. You can see it's just completely full with garlic inside there. So again, these are easy to grow and they also tend to store much better. That's probably why they're the ones that they sell in the stores. After they're cured, they'll store for like nine to 12 months. And these are the ones that you'll commonly see people braiding up and stuff when they're storing them too. There we go, I got this raw wall planted with the soft neck variety. And I also have this hard neck variety here, which I'm gonna plant in this back row right here. And I have a number of other different varieties because I love that idea of variety selection and diversity. It's like I mentioned, one of our greatest gifts as a gardener. So before I get this one all planted, I wanted to see if Tuck wants a little snack. He's been such a loyal guy hanging out in here. And he's always out here with us. So we're gonna see if he wants a carrot or something. Want a carrot, Tucky? Come on, boy. Want a carrot, Tuck? We'll see if he wants a fresh carrot. We still have a bunch of stuff growing in here and it's stuff we're extending the season with. A bunch of cold hardy things and uh, you know, some mashi, some kale, uh, different carrots. And the carrot right now after the frost come is when the carrots really start sweetening up. So it looks like we've got a short little Danver variety right here. See if he wants some of that. Looks like he, looks like he's snacking on it, enjoying it. He knows this is the good time of year to get the carrots. And we still have a bunch more planted here. I, want, I know I have a bunch of different kinds and varieties. Another short fat Danver one here. This is more of like a Nantes variety. It looks like he's gonna want this one a little more. Usually he'll bite the tip and just kind of throw it out just so we can get down to the sweet stuff. So we'll let Tuck just 
finish this one as he enjoys the nice weather with us. But that's today's video growers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you take the time to go out there, plant some garlic now that you'll be harvesting in the summer. It's a great feeling to be able to put that investment that you can look forward to. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to check out the merch down low. And remember, whenever you're on Amazon, start your shopping with our Amazon affiliate link. Tuck and James will be back at you again real soon. We 